everybody! Happy New Year! Welcome to Beaver Mountain Works and uh, this first video of this 2017 is about to commence. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for this fantastic, fantastic year we're going to have? Going out and shooting and hunting and fishing and doing all that crazy stuff out in the woods. Going horseback riding and everything. I hope you folks are. So, to start this off, we're going to be talking about uh, something we don't really discuss too much on these videos. And that's about our loops. And uh, our cartridge loops here. And uh, <clears throat> there's different ways to do cartridge loops. The one that we like to do our signature model is what we call the 3D. And you can see here on my busket arrow rig. This is... Uh, with the 44 mag here, this and 45 long colt, same size, do it 357 magnum, 38 special. You see this 3D, how it sticks out this way, it gives it a little bit easier for when you need to pull out a cartridge. You've got that little extra portion back here, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch, depending on how thick we make these, to be able to pull it out easier and get it into your fingers. This is our split model here where it's six and six the standard model that we do would be 12. this is our 24 model on our belt that we use for our mare's leg and other folks buy them for the regular holsters see that 3d effect here comes out nice and easy you do it in all different calibers you tell us we can do it in 22. in 22 we have one you can see here this is one that isn't uh been put together yet but this is what we do we cut them out and we make our own little straps here and there's different colors we make them at and then we lace them in and then with the 22 you can see here it's easy to get in and out versus if you go to the standard of what this is with the industry this isn't one of my belts this is one I had as a kid you can see this is what the 22 belts were and it's a little harder to get it out this one's not a 3D, this is where it's sewn. This is a different style, the sewn on direct loop. This is traditional as well. You can see there, and then this is one that we do for the 17. It goes in and out easier. You might notice these move a little bit easier because we'd had them filled with empty cases and the cases are expanded, so I need to moisten this up, wet it, and let it contract again. So, but with the 22, it's difficult because you can't, even in a 3D effect, it's kind of hard to get in there because they're, they're too wide. These are three quarter inch, where when we do it, we do it to do it in half inch. It's like here, right there is half inch. We do it stitched on as well, uh, flat right on, where this is the pull through, as I said, they're going to fall out because I had a bunch of empty casings and the empty casings are expanded and they expanded the loops which happens with leather and i left them sitting in there way too long probably about two years it's one of my sample pieces that's why i had uh just expended cartridge is in there instead of for live ammo because i can't have the live ammo at the shows but you can see along that line here and here with the three quarter inch it's okay for the 17s but you get into those 22s and that really becomes a problem to try to get those out of there. Especially when you need them because that rabbit's about to get away and you've got to get that rabbit right away. That squirrel's irritating me. So you're talking along that line there. This is a, another way of doing it. This is a stitched on. We also do this in the 3D effect as well. This is an old belt I had when I was a kid as well. It had to uh, get extended and longer as I got bigger as you can see we did an extension we do modifications to existing equipment as well so if you have a belt that you want to have extended or fixed or made we can do that too this one's 30 odd six and this is a double hanger a lot of them like the double hanger it doesn't fall out as easy but if we do it in a 3D effect, we do the same thing and we can even put a blocker at the bottom. Sometimes people want a blocker up underneath here. So that way when, it, when the round comes in, it sits and blocks on the bottom. We've had that request as well. You can see these staging strips. These are stitched in. These are just staging strips for when you're at the range. 
and you want to sit there with several rounds and you don't want to have the box next to you and carry it up and you say okay I'm gonna I'm gonna be shooting nine rounds and there's nine rounds this is a 30 31 2 another staging strip and this is a yoke for um, one of our shoulder rig units 357 this one here is a pull through it's not a stitch but it's right up against as you can see this one's a stitched onto the leather and you see it behind it's stitched this one here is a pull through like this it has cutouts and then we pull it through just like the 3d but instead of for bringing this base onto another piece of leather like we have here it's just straight through with a backing on it and you can see here with the finish look how it looks here but you wouldn't see it anyways because on the back of there which is like that that would be put on top of here so you don't have to have a backing just like you see here this is a single without a liner but you don't see the loops in the back because it's not stitched we can also do the stitching on a on a 3d as well but most folks don't like that it uh they don't want the extra stitching because as we know stitching does come undone and if you you've had your equipment for a while and you're in and out of the bush and stitching starts to unravel you have a problem this is actually done on by tension you can see here on our mare's leg this is our <clears throat> cartridge loop with conchos it's nice and convenient here it's easy to pull out the 3d you can get it out put it in so when that cougar's chasing you and knocks you down and you've used every bit of Every round you have, you have a few extra here just to get them when you're on the ground. This here is a, a belt strip. This is a 3D effect too. We do this in rifle cartridges as well. And when I do this with a rifle cartridge, that's another part where I'll put a, a piece at the bottom here, which helps stop the cartridge from being really pushed down. And it also gives tension underneath the, on the end of the round so that way it doesn't just fall out even though when these are looped through like this they're slightly wet so I'm actually torquing onto it like this and when I torque onto it and continue going it makes that loop really nice and tight and then you don't ever end up with situation like this one here where they expand and then they just fall out this is a flaw with with that when you when you extend it that way so get it nice and tight stays nice and tight so i hope this was helpful to you and gives you some ideas on uh, cartridge loops and the different styles on how they're put together and the one that we like to use the most here at beaver mount works because most of our clients like them that uh, 3d effect and uh, you dream it we make it Take care now. BeaverMountWorks.com. Hey folks, if you like these videos, then hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell there so you get to know the notifications when we have new videos coming on out. Also, head on over to www.BeaverMountainWorks.com and sign up for our newsletter. Be the first one to know about all the new products and promotionals that we have during the month. Take care now.